day. Good morrow. It's Evie Jones here on her solo episode with two girls and one pod, which means it's actually only one girl, one pod today. But that's okay because I've got Rach right across from me. So therefore, two girls, one pod, one silent and one won't shut the up. Um, I'm recording on Wurundjeri land as usual. Welcome, welcome to me. Um, let's start with a little bit of female, she male, he, um, no he male, maybe he male, um, email for. Can you hear that? I'm a bit squeaky today, but that's okay. Nothing like a squeaky chair in a podcast studio, is there? You know, I think maybe people invented these things. D. Evie, the female email, says to me today, I've decided I'm taking the leap. <gasps> what are you going to do? You're going to go overseas? You're going to buy business? I'm, she says, I'm going to get myself back on the dating apps. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Okay, I've never had much luck and I've really resonated with you when you've spoken about dating before, but I'm going to give it another go. The problem is I get stumped when it comes to creating my profile. Do you have any words of encouragement on how to put myself out there and make a decent profile? Also, got any good pickup lines to use? Thanks so much, Ash. Oh, Ash, you are asking the wrong person. You know what? Whenever I have used those apps, I've been probably the complete opposite to who I am in real life. I cannot write. This is why I don't write books. I don't write stand. I don't write because I do not write um, anything well. I just, and especially when it comes to those kind of things, pick up lines, I think are dumb. And they just, they have a connotation with them. So look, this is what I'm saying, Ash. I wouldn't do the apps. I just think that they're kind of, they've got to go. They've either got to improve. And I'm not talking about the apps. The apps are fine. People on them have got to improve because they seem to be a bit of a cesspit. Um, My friend did marry someone from meeting them on an app, but he turned out to be a so um, she's just divorcing him right now. So <laughs> no, I don't know that those apps are very good. This is what I'm gonna. This is what this is this is this is what I'm gonna say to you. Make an email or a party or a group text message or a WhatsApp message, and I want you to send it to every person in your family and your friends. One big group text or a party lunch, whatever. Just get your your peeps together. And I want you to say to them, I'm single and I'm really looking for someone. Now, no one knows me as well as you guys know me, especially my family have known me all my life, but my friends know me in completely different ways. So that's why I've got you all here together. I would like you all to talk to at least three, maximum five, single men. Um, I don't know. I'm going to assume she wants to date a man. Single men that you know you either work with or you play sport with or you um, know them through other people. But if you don't know five, that's fine. If you know three, whatever. But choose for me because, and and don't insult me. (laughs) Do not set me up on a date with a loser. I got set up with a, with a guy once, such a long time ago that I can't even remember the date. But I do remember calling my friend afterwards and going, have I done something to upset you? <laughs> what was that? Like, what was that? And they were like, what? He's a nice guy. I'm like, he's not a nice guy. So... Say, tell tell your friends that that f- story if you like, but just say, look, there is there's a great show in the UK called Arrange Me a Marriage, and it's this UK made show, but it's made with the host is an Indian woman, um, and she because you know there's such a massive Indian population in the UK, and she and there's still so many 
uh, arranged marriages going on. And she said that th- as, as Indians and um, that culture that does that kind of thing, it really works for them. And so she started this show and it's brilliant. If you can, Google it. It's probably on YouTube. Arrange me a marriage, I think, or arrange me a... A date? Um, arrange me. Anyway, it's it's on it's on TV in the UK. I don't even know if it's on anymore. Arrange me a marriage. Rach says she's just googled it herself. And the host, who's the host of it? Beautiful Indian um, or Pakistani English woman, stunning. She does this. She gets at least well every episode. It's two people, right? And she gets them. To oh, I can't remember how it goes exactly, but it's something along that line where she talks to the family and friends of that person and says, you know her or you know him better than anyone else. You must know single people that you work with. You must know. I mean, and that's the thing is we all need to start doing that for each other, saying, you know what, my friend Rachie is single and I think she would be a really good match for you. Um, James from Accounts Payable that at the office that I work at. Gosh, I didn't even know you were single, James. This is fantastic. Would you like to have a coffee date if I set one up? Um, James would go, F and oath. And I'm like, oh, well, the rage going to love that. <laughs> anyway, so I think that, Ash, I reckon get your family and friends to just start looking around, just opening their eyes to everyone that's around them all the time. And you'll be surprised. They'll go, God, I've been playing cricket with a guy that, you know what? He'd be great for her. It'll be someone of your friend's husbands that's play sport that they're like, Ash is great. She's a great chick. And then the wife will go, well, what, do you want to be with her? No. And then that will be a hot, no, it won't be. (laughs) Do that instead. I mean, if you really want to go on the apps, do it. I have no advice (laughs) when it comes to that. But good luck. Let me know how you go. Let's um, do a useful fact. This one, you know, I'm all about where sayings have come from. So this is another one of those. But I'm going to start doing kind of more trivia facts soon. Like I'm thinking maybe like popping in, popping in. (laughs) Who speaks like that? Not me. I'm going to start maybe popping in three facts kind of thing, you know, so you've got something to, to take out to dinner that weekend. Anyway, this one, there was a guy, right, long time ago, called Admiral Horatio Nelson. Those two names don't go together. I'm not going to question it. He was Britain's most celebrated naval hero. Was he, though? Never heard of him. So was he? Maybe we're just not into Navy, British Navy stuff. I don't know. Anyway, he's blind in one eye. Was... If he was alive today, probably still would be. Um, Okay, so during the Battle of Copenhagen, you remember that one, Rach? Yeah. Okay, Um, amidst the smoke and the chaos, his ship receives a signal from his superior to disengage. But Nelson, ever the strategist, believes he's on the brink of victory. So he raises his telescope to his blind eye and then he claims that he sees no such signal. And then the tide turns and the battle is in Britain's favour. He completely wins the battle. And it gave birth to the phrase, what, what, what did you say? No, not blindside, Rachie. He's used his telescope, but he's put it on his blind eye Mm. to pretend that he didn't see anything. So what did he do? He turned a blind eye. And it's still used today if you are going to overlook something Mm -hmm. and say... I mean, I didn't see it, even though you did. That's that's where that 
term comes from. Thanks, Horaish. Put the claps in there. Hooray! And that's me. Good o. <laughs> Let me know your DMs, your emails. I do enjoy your, your DMs. I still get got some more last week about my period undies so if you still want to know what they are just dm me and i'll let you know let me know how you go with them as well they're awfully expensive so i've said to every single person that i've dm'd get the ones on sale you can't return them though but who wants to return undies so um talk to you soon oh we've got a great guest coming up this thursday uh i'm not going to tell you who just Stay listening Thursday. It'll pop in your e-holes. Love you. Bye.